What's up, my friends? Welcome to this amazing day. Happy Friday to you, my friend. See, I was thinking, right, and I want to share this with you, right, but it's not just problems, solutions as well, right? See, because here's the thing. See, real leaders don't create more followers. Real leaders create more leaders, right? So they don't just come saying problems, fix this problem. They come with solutions, right? So I got solutions for you, my friend, so you can be a leader yourself so that you can learn how to be accountable for your own life and you don't have to be dependent on what I say. You can do it yourself, my friend. That's what it's all about. Reach one, teach one, right? But here's the thing. Here's something that I realized that is messing so many people's lives up. It's something I've realized that's keeping people stuck on stupid. It's keeping people complacent. It's like they in quicksand, right? They want to move, but they can't move. They can't make no progress. You know what that is? Staring at your potential, right? Too many people get reading their own press. They reading their own uh, compliments. They, they stuck on what they can potentially do, my friend. But that's a problem because it's keeping you stuck. The fact that you think I can do this whenever I want to do it, it's preventing you from really doing it. Because here's the thing, my friend. Steering at your potential for too long will make you forget. It will blind you to the fact that you really got to do it. See, staring at your potential for too long will make you forget that it's not complete yet. Yeah, you got the makings of something special, but you got to take it onto your own initiative to actually make that thing special. Otherwise, you're not doing anything, right? So here's the thing. Potential is not enough. It's not enough just for you to have potential. It's not enough just for you to know your potential. It's not enough just for other people to con continuously remind you of your potential. In fact, it's harming your life more than it's helping your life. Let's go deeper, right? Here's the thing. See, potential is only potential until it's maximized, my friend. So in other words, potential is only what you can do until you actually do it, my friend. So, so that thing, those things that you keep talking about that you could have, should have, or would have done, all that stuff that could have, would have, should have happened, it means absolutely nothing until you actually make it happen, my friend. You keep staring at your potential and you forgetting that you gotta flip your potential into progress, my friend. See, here's three reasons why you have to develop and maximize your potential, my friend. Number one, here's the thing, never forget this, right? The race, the race. It's not given to the swift or to the strong. It's given to he who endures until the end. But see, if you keep staring at your potential, not only are you not enduring until the end, but you're not enduring at all because you haven't even started, my friend. You gotta flip that potential into a profit, my friend. You gotta flip that potential and develop it and maximize it, my friend, so that it can amount to something otherwise. It's only potential. And as I told you earlier, potential is not enough, my friend, right? And number two, here's the thing. Steering at your potential is like this. It's like preparing the perfect meal, the perfect Thanksgiving meal that you want to put on display in front of all your family and friends. You prepared the perfect meal. You made sure you did everything right. Everything is, is picture perfect, right? You got it all prepped, it's all, on the, it's all on the counter and everything is done, all seasoned, everything is in. And you just stare at it. You don't just stare at it after you do it, you stare at it the next day on Thanksgiving. You stare at it so long that you forget that you gotta put it in the oven, my friend. You, got, you forget that that meal, although it looks amazing, it looks perfect, you prepped it perfectly, it means nothing if you don't put it in the oven, my friend. That's the same thing with your potential, my friend. Potential's not enough, my friend. It's just not. 
You gotta flip that potential. You gotta develop and maximize that potential. And then, and only then, is your potential amounting to something. Other than that, you all talk, my friend. Stop reading your own press, my friend. Stop believing those compliments too deeply until you're ready to flip that potential, right? Number three, here's the thing. You got to develop a greatness mindset. A mind bold enough to believe, right? That we are all, me, you, and everybody else in the world, we are all a work in progress. But let me tell you how this, how this goes. Once you stop doing the work, that's when you stop making progress, my friend. So once you prep that meal and just sit it on the counter, yeah, it got the potential to be the best meal in the world. But unless you do the work and you finish that deal, unless you flip it, maximize it, and develop that potential, you got nothing. In fact, it's about to go spoil you stare at it too long. Because if you don't use it, you lose it, my friend. So just like that Thanksgiving meal that you prep, that you keep staring at and talking about how good it's going to be, if you never put it in the oven, you never know how good it's going to be. You're only dealing, you're only operating off potential, my friend. And as I told you, potential is not enough. Because staring at your potential too long will blind you to the fact that you really got to do it, my friend. So while you out here understanding and appreciating your potential, you got to go out and maximize and develop your potential, my friend. And that's how you do it. You got to understand and you got to know and you got to always believe that you were born to be great.